and better telescopes to see the sights, the wonders, otherwise we'll miss the bus. So they say that this universe came into being with a big bang, the big bang theory. Who says that? The most learned men of science, astronomers. They say, where did you get these funny ideas from? This fairy tale about a big bang. So no, 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 it is not fairy tales. These are facts, demonstrable facts. We can demonstrate it, show you what is happening. And from that we can conclude if we had a film and put in reverse gear, so we could see what is happening is all coming back again. With the way it's going out, the balloon, if we can deflate it, you'll see it all coming back to one central point. And there was a big bang. When did you discover this? He said, yesterday. Because 50 years is yesterday in the history of man. What is 50 years? Nothing. As an, an illiterate man in the desert, a person who didn't know how to read or write, a person who couldn't sign his own name, he could have, couldn't have known this, could he? He says, no, never. Impossible. Man doesn't know astronomy. He hasn't got the instruments. He hasn't got a telescope. Nothing. In the desert. And among an Ummi people, illiterate people. And he is now telling you, this man in the desert, 1,400 years ago, Kana Taratkan, Fafatakna Huma, and he split them asunder. And you biologists, people who study minute life, microplotism, the amoeba, he says, you know, life originated in the sea, water. Without this water, no life. And they tell you, he says, look, we look back in time, in space, he says, look, this is how life originated. There was a time when this earth was a molten mass, nothing could have survived here, everything boiling, boiling, and over a period of billions of years, you know, the vapors went up and came down, and the vapors went up and came down and started cooling this earth, it took a billions of years and then started life, germs, plant life, and all these things started. At one time there was nothing, and then it started. Where did life come from? He says from the sea. Certain chemical actions, the sun playing its part, and life started from there. Mm -hmm. When did you find this out? It's yesterday. Because 50 years is yesterday in the history of man. An illiterate man in the desert, he couldn't have known that, could he? He says, no, never. He says, well, listen. He says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ And he has made from water every living thing.